Hello, welcome to Furious Driving. And as you know, I have got one or two too many cars, one of which being a Mercedes W123, very similar to this one, but in fact, slightly worse than this one. However, another thing that happens, apart from owning too many cars when you have a YouTube channel, is people coming to you saying, would you like to take on my project? Because they've run out of time, space, money, enthusiasm, you know, the usual things. Anyway, that happened this week. Someone said, would I like another W123? And my first reaction was, of course, yes. Yes, I would like another W123. And he sent me the photos and I thought, great, it's either a really easy project or a brilliant source of parts. But the more I looked at the photos, the more I thought, that car is far too good to steal parts. Because I wanted the front wing, the bumpers, the grill, uh, the hubcaps, um, not much else to be honest and I thought well by the time I've pillaged those few things off this car I've basically destroyed it It means no one else is going to want to take it on and I've condemned this car to scrap by taking those few choice favorite pieces so I knew someone else who did want one of these the Barry come into the photo this is my friend Barry you might have seen him on the channel before on various occasions hi all give me lifts and things he wanted one of these things it's like a father-son project to do up yep so I said Barry have you got space in your drive for a W123 and you said I do have space in my drive after I've moved all the rubble that I've currently got there. Yeah, he, he had an entire skip's worth of rubble stuff <laughs> until this morning. So, looked at some photos, and the photos didn't look too bad, but also looked like there was going to be enough work for me never to get around to it. Mm. So let's have a look at what Barry's new Pride and Joy looks like. <laughs> so, right. what is it? It's a 250, isn't it? It's a 250, it? yes. And that means it's the six-cylinder, and it's a single cub Beretta. Uh, yes. Should we, should we just, should we, just we try it and see what pull happens? The, pull the tag. Yep. Hang on, that's in here, isn't it? We'll, we'll, we'll look, talk about the interior in a second. <laughs> Which there we go. like something has died in here. <laughs> I think I might die in here. Ah, uh, yeah, so I'm guessing it needs that new tag replaced. I should yeah. just take a big, big pull and then... I'm pulling, I am pulling. Well, maybe we'll come back to the bonnet. No, 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 we can, we can get this no, It is. It, uh, hmm. it is in there, isn't it? I can feel it's... Ah, there, there we, we go. go. Yeah. Different angle. Okay. Oh, so we're not going to be jump starting it then? <laughs> no. Okay, that, that's not a problem. Well, I can go, I've got a static jumper. If I rub myself vigorously. <laughs> um, don't, don't rub yourself vigorously. <laughs> <laughs> right, so they have these, I believe, if you just do. They've got the service mode, that. yeah, that's it. I've got the sense of you. Do you want to do the other side for okay, me? Yeah, there we go. Drop it down, touch. Try to touch more. <laughs> there we go. That should go into the... Oh, no, it's your, your side's not out. Yeah, okay, service mode. And it didn't snap off. So service mode means that when it falls, it really hurts. <laughs> you should be able to lock it. You should be able to. Uh, uh, lock it? No, it doesn't. Yeah, up a little bit further, I think. Uh, uh, it's, past, it's past the cam, so there's yeah. a cam on there, so it should be okay. Right, so what have we got? Well, it looks like it's been breathing a bit of oil. Not leaking so much as breathing oil down the side of the block. Yeah, but that could just be... Replacement seals. It could be, yeah, it could be a new gasket along there. Yeah. Um, what was the last German car you had? It was a 924, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah, that looked uh, quite nice by the time you finished playing yeah. with that. Yeah. So there's a bit of rust off the bonnet, but nothing serious. I am going to come and steal that, that grill before we leave. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> um, well. Actually, it's. Could be a lot worse. Could be an awful lot worse. Could be better if there was a battery. Did Let you not bring the battery from your your one there's, two? There's three. a story about that. Okay. Okay. The uh, the, the long version mm -hmm. involves bears and IKEA. Ninjas. Ninjas did did feature. Okay. Yes. Okay. The short version is no. Ah. Um, okay. Uh, right. Uh, okay. What's the dipstick on one of these? Let's see if it's got any oil in it. Oop. Oh, it's got oil. Ooh. Yeah, what colour is it? It's looking quite good actually. I, I was thinking it was going to be absolutely hideous, so I thought I brought blue roll. Um, oh, you got blue roll. That's all right. I see. We're both. Professional mechanic here, blue roll. <laughs> Person who lives at home. <laughs> and he's not. Um, uh, that could so, yeah, be that a was, lot worse. That was pretty much smack dab between the yeah, two yeah, yeah. But well, what's it like under here? Can I actually well, get this off? I reckon it'll be dry in the cams because it's been mm. not turned over in so long. There we go. Well, it's black. It's not had a head gasket failure, is it? No. And the. The lobes look quite shiny still, so they do. Engine-wise, it looks quite positive. Yeah. Okay. So the mechanic where the car was sitting for the last couple of years uh, did say that it drove in. Yeah. Um, and uh, mechanically, it was pretty sound. Well, a quick backstory for you: the um, the car was owned by someone, obviously, and it had horrific rust. Um, the kind of rust you're familiar with if you've seen my blue one. 
and he spent several thousand pounds having it all taken out professionally. But then, I don't know what the reason was, it just wound up sitting at the garage for the next three or four years. And so it's been outside in the rain, which you can sort of see from the state of it. In fact, let's take a quick walk around the outside, starting with the wing we're on now. This wing looks a little shabby, uh, but luckily there is a brand new wing on the back seat, which I was hoping it's going to be a driver's side wing and I was going to steal it because I need one of those. <laughs> but the trim is good, the trim is hard to find and that's good. Well, this has been painted over. Painted, but it looks like it's actually been masked and painted, so the bit of. You can get your son to do this. Uh, yeah, right, yeah. This is what children are for. That, that I was actually thinking that looked interesting, but no, that's you're horrible. absolutely right. It does, actually underneath, it it's, is just yeah, masking tape. This trim apparently is quite expensive and not that easy to find. So it has been painted, but it's not a perfect match, but then that's not a perfect wing either, so no. that suits. Well, the, the wing needs to go. There's a brand spanking new one on the back seat. Yes, so we'll, we'll get to that. Perfect. Mm. Uh, the headlights, these are the older spec. So I was hoping I was going to steal a headlight off this because of the wiring's dodgy on mine. Uh, but these are the old styles, I can't steal them. Which actually I prefer the look of. Yeah, they've got, Personally. More, they've got a different look, haven't they? Yeah. This car is a 1978, so in theory we could have just taken a battery and driven it all the way from the other side of the country, but I wasn't really keen on doing that, just in case it was horrifically illegal and broken. <laughs> a little bit of surface rust, nothing too bad. Yep. Uh, the grill, I think we saw... It's looks, actually pretty immaculate. Looks quite nice. Well, yeah. polished, that might come up quite nicely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This has got the chrome grills, mine's got the plastic ones on the later car. So interestingly, this yeah. is a much nicer engine than mine, being a six-cylinder 250. Well, you say that, but this was actually the least popular engine out of the entire series. Yeah, because it seems like if you wanted economy, you went for the 230 like mine. If you wanted power, also, you went for the 280. An absolute, well, not very nice thing to um, actually try and get this thing working properly. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It apparently is the most complicated petrol engine ever developed. Really? Which is why it was so unpopular oh, at okay. the time. Oh, interesting. Um, but it's carburetors though, so in theory that should be easier to, to get working than my k -Jet. Yeah, yeah. I've watched a couple of videos since you obviously informed me about this car, uh, and uh, apparently no, it's not. It, oh, it's, good. It's, uh, it's, well, it's... I'm sounding happy about handing it over to you in that case. <laughs> uh, there is a little bit of rust falling out of the bonnet, but I'm sure we can ignore that. Um, it does yeah. look a bit grubby down there, but Hopefully that's just surface rust and a bit of sandpaper and hammerite will take care of that. Mm -hmm. This wing is a little perforated, but you could probably yeah. sand it and plate it. Just at the front as well, but yeah. only a small amount down here as well. Well, the chrome on the door mirror looks pretty decent. It's a little pitted, but it'll polish up without too much trouble. There's only one mirror on it though, only a driver's side one. The passenger side has got a blank on it. The paint is kind of flat, but before we get too carried away painting it, these stone chips do seem to go down to the metal, so there's a bit more to do there. But the chrome and the side trim is all looking good, that's expensive. And the panel is straight, which is all good stuff. Um, yeah, pleased with that. And the Jacking points. Jacking points are solid at the back and solid at the front. So I think this has been welded before, so that's a massive relief. Okay, so, ah, uh, right, so this is good news. This looks like uh, it has all been... Welded. We welded, well, if, if not welded, definitely wax oiled. It's all, all right. shiny. Sorry. Don't go for it, you take the torch, because I can't black. see where you're looking. Yeah, <laughs> shiny and black. No, this is good. Yeah, there's the drain that rotted out on mine. This actually looks pretty decent. We'll take the wheel off in a minute and have a look. Mm. The I'll tires, the tires are Kelly brand, which are obviously a noted uh, premium brand. And cracked. They are quite cracked. They are quite old. So yep. I think it's always a given when you get a car that's been sat for a long time, you will want new tires on it. Yep. I was also going to steal the hubcaps as well. Wrong colour. You don't want them. I can paint them. No. Was that coffee? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, now this is a thing which I don't have a problem with on my car, which I'm grateful for, but this one apparently you, does because someone's calling gaffer you. taped the sunroof Sorry, shut. Um, I'm not sure how waterproof gaffer tape is when it gets to this stage. We'll open the door in a minute and uh, <coughs> enjoy that breeze. Back bumper, back bumper's good. That's like 140 pounds right there. That was something I was going to steal because <laughs> mine's, mine's kind of weirdly bent. And the boot, what's in the boot? Let's get the key. Uh, that's a bit stiff on that door lock, boot lock. So the boot is... Pretty sound, Pretty actually. sound, actually, yeah. Yeah, Lots I had a quick look earlier. Here. Lots of... Uh, well, there's a free bucket. Yeah. Wires. There's a, a few cans of paint in here, which are uh, unused, I, I found. He did say there were some cans of paint that were going to be supplied with the car, so mm. that looks like he's had these mixed up specifically for it, so that's yeah. handy. Where would you like your coffee popped, Oh, I'll pop it on the roof. Put it on top of the wonderful duct tape. On the duct tape, excellent. Mm. Gaff that up, and we have got a power 
Yes, yes, I noticed Aerial. that. Let's yeah. see if that works. Well, we've got a jump start pack, which I'll hook onto. It's like a big battery style one rather than the lithium, so we might better get going with that. Let's carry on the outside walk around. The, this wing looks good as well. Now it's brambles here. Ow! Yeah, you can see some of the welding that's actually happened in the back, can't you? Uh, On yeah, that back you can, wheel yeah. up here, and also over here as well. You can see. Yeah. It looks the, like this has been welded down here. Yeah, you can see both sides. These do rot in these corners. Yeah, yeah. But, but there aren't many places these cars don't rot in, in actual fact. <laughs> but, but it looks like the boot is dry, which is good because my boot it is. actually yeah. leaks quite badly. Yeah. And I always regret taking the cover off it because then <clears> a few days later I've got a wet boot. So this side looks quite tidy as well. And uh, yeah, there's lots of welding being done. Let's, uh, now, this is the bit mm. I wish I'd brought my FP3 grade mask for, because the car's been sat outside for three years. Yes. There is condensation on the inside of the window, which is gonna be one thing. <laughs> da, da, da. Deep breath, everybody. Mmm. <laughs> that smells nice. <laughs> well, it could be a lot worse. Oh, could be. I, I've actually, could be worse, but it's, 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 it's a bit um, stale. Well, when I looked at the photos. That's, that's damp. I said to the people, why is back floor covered in hypodermic syringes and water? But it's not hypodermic syringes, it's something else, I don't know what it is. Oh, they're, um, they're um, uh, filters for cigarettes. Oh, roll up cigarette things. Yeah. Not hypodermic syringes. <laughs> but um, the carpet is actually quite damp. So this is all gonna have to be lifted up and dried. Yeah, but that's that okay. It's quite wet, unfortunately. Well, unfortunately, it doesn't look like it's... Uh, yeah, got a bit of mould on this seat, but... Uh, yeah, okay. The fabric, though, look at this fabric. It's great, this I is love it. beautiful. It's in far better condition, apart from the dampness, this is far better condition than the seats in my car. So, but then blue and green would not have been a nice combination. Look at this though, a new wing, yes. brand new wing. And there's also some trim there, uh, which I'm yes. trying to figure out. Where, that's, I think that's new side trim. Uh, I'm not sure, it's a bit wide for the side trim. It's off the bumper. I oh. think it's bumper trim. Is it? Yeah, look how, fa how fast it is. Uh, yeah, actually, you know, it's solid plastic. So yeah, it is, it's, it's, it's for bumper. Mm. And check out these door cards. This is the is this MB text, the plastic stuff. No, that's MB. I don't know what no, MB no. text is. Um, this is the the faux leather, isn't it? It's the, yeah, uh -huh. elephant hide. Yeah. Well, but the great thing about it, it the is it's normally the pretty durable. This stuff. This stuff, yeah. It, it, Mercedes interiors are tough as old boots. This is going to want to sit with the windows open for a bit when it's not raining. But yeah. I'm not going to sit in that driver's seat because that is absolutely sodden. Yeah. Uh, we have got, let's look at the interior. Oh my God, deep breath. The automatic gearbox, I think it's a four speed in this. Um, yep. It does come with the glass for <laughs> the mirror. Yeah. Uh, as an optional extra, that's included. Love that hazard light switch just there. One of the things I love uh, when I looked in here, Matt, earlier, yeah. there's no crack. No. On the, um, on, on the actual console. No, these aren't that bad for cracking. This is really, really high quality stuff. Oh, okay. These are pretty good. You've got, I think this is the same steering wheel as I've got. Obviously yep. the same dashboard, they didn't ever, didn't ever change that to my knowledge. You've got the uh, the pull-on handbrake, and we've got the radio cassette, check out this Blyerpunk radio yes. cassette, isn't oh. that awesome? I've actually got some tapes as well, Matt. Have you? Yes. Oh, hopefully this thing will work. <laughs> well, this is so cool, the cobwebs at home here. This is interesting, because this is a higher engine spec, but a lower trim level. The interior is less well equipped, because I've got the wood, I've got the electric sunroof, this is... Is this, no, it's it is electric. Well. What's yeah. the switch for it? Goodness knows. Uh, I was oh, trying to figure out. I think that out. that's there it is. Oh no, that can't be it. No. Is that electric sunroof? We won't push that button. We won't push these buttons because I made the mistake of doing that. Well, there's no there's no battery, so no. it's not much is going to happen. And once we connect something to it. Yes, that's true. Because I, I made that mistake. I was oh, and then it opened and then that yeah. was it. You I was uh, stuck. Oh uh, my car, for the first year or so of owning it, I said, I'm never going to push that uh, sunroof switch because I don't know if it'll open or not. Then one day I was sat in it and I thought, I wonder what that switch does, I've never pushed it. <laughs> I heard this whirring noise above my head. Oh, the sunroof works, I wonder if it closes. No. No. <laughs> you can no, tell, the thing I like about this is you can see the era that this was from. Because, oh, very much. Because yeah. of the fact you've actually got yeah. ashtrays in, ash the in the doors. Kids like to start this smoking young back this in the 70s. This is true. I mean, you've got a car seat, obviously, for the kids and, yeah. and their own personal ashtray, yeah. which I think is wonderful. Amazing. Well, the thing is, because this is a 1978 car, it doesn't need tax or MOT, although I think if the car's been off the road, you do have to do an initial MOT before you drive it. I, I, I'd I feel safer personally. Yeah, me too. Making sure that it has got yeah, an MOT definitely. before it actually oh, yeah. happens. Now let's oh, see, do the brakes actually son. work on this thing? What are you doing oh, there's pressure. Bike? There's good pressure on this. I think the brakes will work on it. Oh, well, excellent. Let's, let's go and get a jump pack and see if anything springs to life. Now, I didn't okay. actually bring the correct battery for this car, but fortunately I was going to the tip. Oh, my God, so I had five batteries. Oh my God, Father, we're keeping it. <laughs> and it's okay, got a tape deck. 
Right, so. I've got a tape deck. I can finally play my tapes in the car. <laughs> <laughs> How old are you, 14? 14. Yeah. 14, yes. 14 year old who's got cassettes but doesn't own I a cassette player. No, he does. Actually, He's got a Walkman. Have you? I've got, a, yeah. I've got an old Panasonic one from the early 2000s oh, that my granddad gave me. <laughs> my granddad gave me a cassette Walkman. <laughs> I know, yeah. it's so sad. I gave him a biro so he could actually no, get all the tapes was, working he in. Either, <laughs> he was either going to give me £20 or the cassette Walkman. No, I'm I thinking, went, no, I want the how, cassette Walkman. How old does it make you feel when your grandfather gives you a cassette player? <laughs> Yes, well, yeah. Yeah. Okay, right, this is your battery at the Rover Tomcat, which is now hooked up to a jump pack. Oh, okay. Both of them are crap, but we'll give it a go and see if anything happens when we turn the, the key. Okay, here we I'll go. i look for the key. He's looking, he's... Oh, there, there it is. It's in the boot. I was for, worried for a second I actually left it in the boot, but I didn't leave it in the boot. Ah. Right. There's still a coffee cup. Right, do you want me to... Hold on a second. Let's just see if anything comes to life on the dashboard. Oh, the uh, temperature gauge flicked. There is a red light on the fuel gauge showing nothing is in it. Brilliant. Uh, let's try the lights, shall we? Oh, the wipers work, I didn't need okay, to push Okay, right, well, let's uh, figure out how to turn those off quickly. D um, Probably a good idea, they need a damn good clean. It's obviously not that way. <laughs> sounds like a dead I'm not actually doing anything, but that's off. Okay, that's, that's a problem. Okay, well, you know, it's, like it's, a, it's, a, it's a gremlin. It does, doesn't it? Unfortunately, the water's on the inside, so it's not doing anything. Okay. Lights are... Oh. Yay! Yay! Do you want to find the instruction book and find the off position for the wipers? Because <laughs> every position is the same on this thing. Yeah. We're looking in the instruction book. Ah, oh, stop now. Okay, I think it was the washer button was jammed on the inside. And that's uh, why it kept on that would make more sense. Because when I flicked the ignition off and on again, I heard the wa washer motor buzzing. Well, we know we've got oil in it. Should we just see if it cranks over? Because it drove nicely when we... Apparently oh, it was turning over. <gasps> oh. Yeah, if that battery wasn't janked, I reckon that would, might actually start. I think you might be right. If you've ever bought one of Diamond Bright's little gift bags of, of shampoo and stuff, they come in these lovely little boot bags, which are really handy for Ooh. portable tool bag things for going off on adventures. Ooh. And I've just thought I'd do this a bit properly. We'll just quickly pull the plug out and see what that looks like, which is a bit grey, a bit well, black. No, it could be a lot worse. Could be a lot worse. I think that's absolutely fine. Yeah. How's um, it smell? It smells of anything, doesn't it? Ooh. You guys, what do you think? Yeah. Yeah, I, I reckon think that smells like, like a spark plug to me. Smells like a spark plug. Looks dry, but doesn't look too bad. I mean, what we should do is crank it with the um, king lead taken out so we build a little bit of oil pressure before it fires. I, that by hand, I really. think that would be a damn good so, yeah. idea. So we'll pull the king lead out, so we'll give it a couple of cranks so it builds up a little bit of oil pressure because it's been sat for so long. Yeah. I mean, ideally, I suppose in this situation, you'd want to change the oil. And Normally change oil and filter, but yeah. We did try to buy an oil filter, but they said you need to find the oil filter reference number because there's several for this engine. <laughs> I told you, incredibly complicated these. Yeah, so that was a surprise because that was like a proper mechanics place that you go to for real stuff. Because out of the millions of these particular uh, W123s that were sold, the actual 250 engine, uh, there was only about 100,000 and the majority were actually the limousines. Oh really? So all of the Is limousines... It quite a smooth engine then? Yeah, so, so all of the limos were, were, were 250s only. Oh, okay. Um, so the actual saloon uh, 250s are quite rare. I didn't know that. That's I've been doing my homework. You, you have been doing homework, haven't you? Speaking to you. Yeah. <laughs> right, let's roll this thing back a bit so we can straighten the wheels. It's not moving. It's not moving. Oh, there we go. Oh, my God. It's moving. Heavy. Hang on, is there a slope on here? Uh, there is that goes downwards towards let's your put car. Let's behind that wheel <laughs> before it starts rolling. <laughs> There's a brick there. Oh, I've got a bit of, bit of wood and a brick. Are you sure that the bit of wood's enough? No. Let's use the brick as well. We now have movement. Excellent. Is this thing insured yet? Uh, not yet. Oh. Double check my car then. <laughs> we just double check it has actually got a rotor arm in there in case someone's security cleaned it. No, it's there. That actually doesn't look too bad. Wow, either. that looks that looks new. Well, well, not new, new, but certainly not old, old. We could have checked that uh, water in the Dave Hickey as well. Well, there's not much water um, in there. Do. By not much, I do of course mean none, but we're not going to run the thing, so I'm just going to see if it fires. Come on, go back on the other side, you. Yes. Ah, there we go. Now we'll just back on. Yeah, you know, there is a code on here that tells you the name of the paint. Oh, really? Mine is 877 Petrol Blue Metallic. Ah. So if you go and decipher this code... Oh, you know what I could do? I could look at the cans of paint in the boot <laughs> and see if there's a number on them. No, they were blank. There's nothing written on them. Darn it. Right. Ooh. If you want to go and do that, I'll squirt some cleaner up the, the schnozzle. Up the schnozzle? Up the schnozzle. Oh, okay. Does that, does that work? No, yeah. Can... It proves you've got ignition. Okay. If it won't run, it'll prove it'll start. 
Oh, go again. Oh, sorry. I got all excited and let go. <laughs> uh, yeah, that sounds like we're draining the battery on this, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, go for it. Ready, go! It went then. It went, but it's. Uh, I think. What do, you, what do you think we should do? I think we need more petrol and a new battery. I think you're right. <laughs> it's Otherwise, not drive back into its I think place, my mother-in-law's car is going to die. Oh, sorry, the car will be fine. It's yeah, under warranty, isn't it? Under warranty. What? Well, so what we've got here is a car which we have proof, proof, of, proof of concept can fire up. Yes. But it does need. There is definitely something happening. There was a bit of life in there, but there it was. does need a jolly good service. Yes. So you're gonna need oil, filter, spark yep. plugs, yep. rotor arm, dash cat, um, sorry, distributor cat. HT leads. HT leads. Yep. Might, yeah, I was saying you might be able to clean them up, but they are mismatched set and they are very dirty. Yeah. Because they're not gonna I get mean, much spark. I mean, the thing spark. is, it, you know, it, it's probably a good idea just to replace them anyway. Well, yeah, it's been... We don't know when it was last done. Exactly, and you would normally do this, well, all the oil and filter would be an annual service anyway. Yeah. So, uh, But I mean, this car, if you look at actually the, the, the odometer, mm -hmm. it's like 70, it's not even 70,000 miles. Really? Is that all? 69,568, I believe it was. <laughs> um, That's incredible. I've what, just what, realised what? what we didn't check. What's that? We didn't see if the radio worked. Isn't it a push? Uh, no, clicked on the volume. Volume off, off then volume. Okay. Oh, oh! There's fuzz. There's a tuning side, your side. There is. I know it's a cassette running a tape at the moment. No, it's not. No, it's on, it's on radio. Uh, I've only got medium wave or long wave though. Who needs more? Ooh. I think I've just woken up the mouse in the speaker. <laughs> Whoa, that sounds weird. Can I that again? Ooh, here we go. I can hear that. Maybe if I turn it over, maybe it's at the end. I oh, could be, couldn't it? No, it's not, it's smack in the middle. What is that tape, did it say? Uh, country Moods. Country Moods, Country yeah. Road Take Me Home. Oh, it's got D I V O R C. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. I think it wants to die. I've also just noticed, as well as the free uh, paintbrush, you've got your mirror on the floor down here. Yes. I think it's close enough to copyright to... Ugh. I think let's uh, stop that now. Yeah, that sounds yeah. painful. That's, yeah. Oh, try the horn. Horn works. Oh, it's a nice sounding nice horn, horn as well. Has the lights don't work. I won't try the windows just now in case they won't go back up again. Yeah. The floor on the passenger side... I was going to say it looks good, but this is the under seal, so I can't really tell what's on. Well, it, it, it does look pretty pristine, though, but the, the, yeah. this seat's starting to get a little bit wet now. You can yeah. see where, th obviously, again, the sunroof's leaking. I think, yeah, the sunroof is leaking quite badly. So I think by the, the first thing it. I need to do is stick some extra more tape on, scrape yeah. off what's there, and um, yeah, put some go. fresh tape on there, I think. Yeah, we have got a little bit of mould growing in just there. Oh, that's that's special, that is. Special mould, Mercedes mould. Yeah, there's some special mould on the seat as well. Oh, yeah. Um, hand back to where you were a second ago. Down. Down. That's it. Yeah, where you are now. Yeah. It looks kind of crusty. It, 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 it's sodden, I'm is the word I'm I'd use. the metal of the... Uh... Oh, this here? Yeah. Oh, this is, this is, you this is... that with something metal? It's, uh... As a, oh, ah. oh, you've got... As in the sharp end. Give it a whack. It is a sharp end. What do you want me to do? Exactly. Prod it, see if it goes through. Oh, no, it's not going through. It, it, I think it's superficial, initially, yeah. at the moment. Yeah, get, but, some, get a wire brush on that. But I think it does need... Case, yeah, and this... That is, is that... It's damp. Yeah. Now, but is that metal or is that the underseal again? Because there's about a centimetre of sound deadening which traps the water. No, that is actually the, that, look, they, they actually, you can see where it's come away, the, the soundproofing. Here, look. Can you see this bit here? Uh -huh. Where it's got the ledge? So this is actually the metal. You can see oh, is this it? is metal. Oh, okay. Because, yeah, on mine, I, I peeled up the, the sound deadening, which has got concrete, and then it was all horrible underneath. Yeah, no, I think uh, this has been taken back to the metal on this side. Oh, okay. Then uh, wire brushing needing doing down here. Plastic trim needs to come off. This needs to come back because this is flaking quite badly. It feels solid, but yeah, but not for much longer if we don't deal with it now. Plant sticking in here, and I thought, do you know what? I'll pull that out. But I don't know what it was, but it's, can you see it's coming up here? Look. Uh -huh. <laughs> but it's very spiky. Ooh. Here's the um, here's the soundproofing part. You can oh, okay. see they've taken where it's an edge been. To it. Yes, yeah. They've just taken an edge, I think. I've just gone back to here to make sure. Yeah. Ooh, there's oh, there's a hole. Yeah, there's a hole. I'm going to get a screwdriver and do a bit more jabbing. I don't want to jab anymore! Oh, this, is what, this is what I feared me. Oh, that 
could have been worse. I th what that, I'm... that is that is as far as it's going back at the moment. Yeah, with but... even vigorous. That's quite vigorous jabbing. And that, that is quite a sturdy uh, windscreen wiper blade from a it headlight. Is. Well, this car doesn't have headlight wipers though. Um, um, I don't know about the rest of it back here though, no. obviously where the seat's been sitting. But Shall we jack it up and look underneath? Is that going through to the outside world or is that the inner? No, no that's actually the uh, inner floor. Inner floor. They are double layered. Yeah, but the rest of it, hmm. I can't get through anywhere else and obviously I'm trying to be very careful of the electrics here. Hmm. But the rest of it seems absolutely sound. Should we put a jack underneath it and see if it goes through the floor? I'm going to lift up and have a look underneath. Whoa, hold on a minute. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, this is in the door. That is a, a Mercedes badge with the spare keys in it. So yeah. this, I've never seen this. That must be homemade, surely. I would, I would, I would, I don't know. Oh, it's got Mercedes no, it's badges, got, yeah. How cool that is, is that? so cool. And you've got three keys for it. Yes. <laughs> Damn, I'm seriously <laughs> getting some, uh, some Mercedes envy here. <laughs> this is way better than mine. <laughs> Apart from the holes in the floor. No, that's only one. Only one. Only one so only, far. Only one to... But your jacking points do look significantly better than mine, I will say that. I didn't bring the big heavy GT Draper jack because it's really, really heavy and big. Um, I've just realised that this one doesn't go high enough to lift the car off the ground. <laughs> oh, you know what we need? What? Bit of wood in there. Right, whilst you're doing that, I'm going to um, reapply the waterproofing. Oh yeah. yeah. The waterproofing is proving not particularly waterproof, so... Yeah. Okay, the wheel is off the ground. There are crunchy noises. That's me, sorry. Oh, sorry, it's Barry. <laughs> now this, some rather nice hubcaps, which are still mine. Definitely not going, I'll put them back in the car for safekeeping now. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> there, are, there are cobwebs. That's fine. I think it's a 17 or a 19. That's a uh, feature, actually. Feature, yeah, there's even three dead spiders under here as well. Ooh. Ooh, crud on that. That's a, that's a pretty powerful look. This is really handy. And what thing you have to remember is using impact sockets, which uh, can be a handy complete set of deep sockets. Otherwise you wind up smashing your actual normal sockets into little pieces. Right, yeah. Right, Ooh. so this looks pretty good up here. I mean, this is way better than mine. Wow, yeah, that actually what? Somebody's, somebody's actually... I think he spent, said he spent about two and a half thousand pounds having it welded. Wow. Which is a lot of money. It is. Spring looks relatively recent. The shocks look good. Yeah. Um, these bushes don't look too bad, or the, these covers anyway. Um, the wires to the brakes are there. The flexi hoses look decent. Um, it looks like something's gone on down here, but I'm not quite sure what. The exhaust doesn't look too bad. Um, Do you want to take that? Yeah. There we go. Underneath the floor. Um, <laughs> um, a bit of crust just there, but I should just paint over. Now, I'll, I will warn you, I did this on my uh, V8 Rover and I managed to do bang, bang, bang there and the rust was bong, bong, bong in between. Wow. And needed complete new sills on both sides. But this does feel pretty solid. Apart from the one at the hole by the seat, I think we might have got lucky. Yay! <laughs> happy days. Very happy days. Yeah, so, yeah. I think, um, yeah, I mean... The, well, I you think could we can cut out and weld, weld, I think, these arches a bit. I reckon you could, those could be salvageable by I someone who knew so. what they were doing. Yeah. Because the bulk of it is okay, it's just these little areas It's just, here. yeah. yeah I yeah, don't, there might be repair panels available for this bit, because I think they all go just there. On the whole, I reckon it's pretty decent, actually. It's, it's fairly solid. It needs a good dry out. It need, does need a good dry out. And the interior needs a... Random what? missing item. Just, bolt just there. under there. Isn't just there, which means you can't hinge the bonnet down because it's flexing weirdly on the hinge. I have a cunning plan. Go on, what's your cunning plan? Screwdriver. Yeah. Just uh, wedging that in, and then um, hopefully we can get it past the point. Mm. Yeah, the pivot point. All right, go, go for it. Give it a try now. Past the point? Yep. You pull the screwdriver in now, or is that going to. Yep. Yep, okay, that's good. So that's the first thing you need to fix. Yeah, done, you see? Excellent. This car malarkey. <laughs> Easy. Where do you think you're going with that, Matt? <laughs> Nowhere. Nowhere. Right, you need to pull that out, don't you? I'll, I'll leave it down at that point, because then if, it's, if that latch is dodgy... Yeah. 